Welcome to Sugar Water TV. At the trendier episode of Rare Table Talk, Robin Crawford is talking candidly on her relationship along with her past due buddy Whitney Houston. The episode titled Loving and Dropping Whitney Houston, Robin Crawford Speaks Out functions Crawford detailing her e-book, A Song for You. My existence with Whitney Houston to Jada Pinkett Smith. Moreover, Robin talked her time with the singer that protected Shaw, moments of intimacy, however additionally safety and unwavering friendship. In line with Robin, at one factory Whitney irately confronted her for sound asleep with considered one of her backup dancers, and angrily ripped up an inscription she had written in a Bible she had given her. She was angrily upset, said Crawford. She just grabbed it and ripped out the back page, and she started tearing it up, ripping it into little pieces. Pinkett Smith responded that she too could relate, because she'd had a similar relationship like that with Tupac. That I understood, because of the complex relationship I've had with Pac in those moments of his, who's that, knowing damn well there ain't nothing like that between us, she said. Him feeling like, you are the only stability I got, I can't afford for you to put that attention elsewhere. For him, it was, we were an anchor for each other. Anytime he felt like that anchor was threatened, oh my god. Whoa. At one point Robin also talked about noticing a gash on Whitney's face following her honeymoon, that nip he claimed came from broken glass. Robin thought the cut came from Barbie who Robin claims got in her face a couple times, but ultimately let her suspicions go. I know that when she came back from her honeymoon and she had that gash on her face. Did she ever explain to you how that gash got there? Question mark asked Jada Pinkett Smith. I asked her, I threw a glass against the wall, and it shattered, and I got cut, Crawford says Houston replied. But the cut was from here to there, about three, four inches long. Flying glass doesn't do that. But I never pressed her, 